So, this season starts in a very romantic way. It's more romantic than the others, I mm. guess. And uh, from the beginning you see that there is something going on between uh, your characters. Mm. And that you're gonna see probably a friends to lovers situation. Sure. Mm -hmm. So how did you build this tension between the three of you? I think it's been within the writing of the show since the first episode of season one. Yes. It's really been like this slow burn, but you it immediately had a connection yeah, of some kind. You immediately saw this like yeah connection between the two of them, and that in different ways they were just fighting that you know until we until we get to this moment. But also they weren't ready for that. And I think mm. audiences know that as well. They were still children. You like. shouldn't have felt in season one and two like they should be together. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. they shouldn't have been together mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah. But like then when they finally become a bit more grown up and mm -hmm. also start to see each other on a level and she's not looking up at him like he's some Greek god, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. then it's then it you go, Okay, actually maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what if you have two friends who start to fall in love with each other? And, uh, you know, it's uh, tricky because uh, it's you tricky. want to protect the friendship mm -hmm. and maybe dive into the passion. So what's your advice for, for them? Ooh, that's hard. really tricky. Life is really short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, part of me is like, just go for it and see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Because you never know. Hopefully if they communicate, I would just be like, just be so good at communicating yeah. because then if that doesn't work, then hopefully there can still be some level of friendship between all of us. Absolutely, yeah, so yeah, yeah. If you communicate your feelings, but also are willing to take the hit if it doesn't work out, I know, then we can all be friends. But that's true of every relationship. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Nicola, suppose yes. there is a shared universe between uh, Derry Girls and <laughs> Wigilto. <laughs> yes. So, do you have an idea of which couples could, you know, be perfect for you? Oh. From Between one from the other. The oh, I would love to. I think Aunt Sarah would do incredible mm -hmm. in the ballroom. Lady mm -hmm. Danbury, how are you? you know, <laughs> yeah. I could see that beautiful lady yeah. from Derry going in. So, yeah, Aunt Sarah, who would I set her up with? We need more. <laughs> Devling? Mm. That's, no, no, not Devling, maybe. Um, it's maybe a hot, one of the hot young Lauras. Yeah. And Aunt Sarah? Yeah. We've got definitely. a bunch of them this season. Yeah. So I want. I would look. She can. She can have a pick. Actually, just cast Kathy Kerr Clark in the show altogether because yeah. yeah, I think yeah, she'd yeah. be phenomenal. Yeah, she's so great. And speaking about Lady Whistledown, uh, she's a gossip queen. Yes. So um, we all had one in our life, I guess. So did you have a, a gossip queen in your school? My school. Oh, I'm trying to think back. I'm like, it was a long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, For us. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like Instagram, like not Instagram, but like social media just started taking off. Yeah, like people it, were having Facebook and Bebo. So I guess like that was happening. I used I don't to know love if there Bebo one stuff. No, I don't yeah. know if there was. I don't know if there was one person. Do you remember on Bebo when you used to have your friends and you'd have a uh -huh. list, it was like best friends Did you do first. MySpace? No, I didn't. I did no. do MySpace because I was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, top eight on MySpace was serious, and then the song, yeah. and then the, yeah. It yeah. was, yeah. No, I don't, I didn't have a gossip green at school. That's that's, if, if we did, oh, I didn't know about it. No, me neither. Yeah. Yeah. Were we not good? No, the gossip the ones. <laughs> yeah. So, and your characters have a, a great glow up in this season. Yes. So were you eager to see what was, was going to happen to them? Uh, so looking much. wise. Yeah. It, uh, in both sides of it, really, of like really intrigued to see what every department was going to bring to like the physical transformation and glow up of them, but also, where that was going to take them within the story because mm, mm. it, it you know things could be really easy when they they grow up they both become adults and they meet and they see each other for who they've always been and it's happily ever after but really to see how the glow ups actually don't affect them on no. the inside and how they've got to do a lot more work so yeah I was really excited to like dive into both sides of that really mm. it was fun and what about you? <laughs> It, you know, it was incredible, I think, because also, I mean, I was in the trenches mm. in the first two seasons with, <laughs> with like, Spongebob Squarepants. Mm. Um, so I was excited to look nice <laughs> for one time. No, but I know, honestly, I'm only kidding, because the teams have been incredible on each season. And I was very, I very much looked how Penelope was supposed to look. Mm. But there was, it was like a pretty woman moment going into that first season three fitting. 
and having these mm -hmm. beautiful fabrics that yeah. I never had and they sourced them from literally all over the world John Glazer who designed the costumes and then um, like picking up the fabrics and just holding them against me and I got mm -hmm. tears in my eyes and I was like oh yeah. I've been waiting for this moment and I mm -hmm. feel like Penn has been waiting for this moment and the fans I, like it just meant so much it was yeah. cool okay thank you very much thank, thank you, you so much Bye.